Well, a lot of times the data that you're bringing in is it's, are you, uh, it's a good question. <laughs> Try not to make mistakes. Yeah. Simple answer. You don't make mistakes. So. <laughs> um, sometimes um, one of the bigger mistakes, especially on a project is a customer might come in and think that their internal IT staff can um, do the work for them, but Salesforce, um, Salesforce doesn't, uh, while it's Java-like syntax, it still has a lot of other ancillary, ancillary um, issues you have to wor worry about, governor limits, and that's not common for a lot of uh, developers to work with. And because of that, there's different kinds of patterns and stuff that you should follow. And Salesforce has made a, a, a wealth of information on these patterns available on their website. And you can go and um, uh, look those up, but those are probably the biggest things that the people just don't follow those patterns. They're, they're not experienced Salesforce developers and they get themselves into trouble. Uh, that's probably the biggest one. <laughs>